All right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. This is going to be a little more challenging to keep this under two minutes, but let's get right at it. I want to talk about the end of the world and the trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the elect. Okay. Um, so that's in Matthew 24. All right, now pay attention to the trumpet. All right, the trumpet, the great sound of a trumpet. They shall gather together his elect. Talking about the angels of God shall gather together the elect at the trump of God, which is at the end of the world. Notice in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, it's talking about the end of the world. Jesus is asked specifically, what is the sign of thy coming and of the end of of the world in 1 Corinthians 15 also we see the same thing for he shall send for I'm sorry in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed okay this is at the end of the world in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible this is parallel with what we read in Matthew 24 Mark 13 Luke 21 when the angel when he shall send the the angels with the great sound of a trumpet so also the very same thing we read about in first Thessalonians 4 all right in first Thessalonians 4 starting in verse 16 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout of the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall be shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord okay so this is uh, mentioned several times all throughout the Bible, okay? And this is parallel with what we read here at the end of the world in Revelation 20 when it talks about fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them, okay? Same thing we read about here in Second Peter chapter 3, all right? where the world that then was being overflowed with waters standing in and out of the water right but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men so we read about this this parallels what we read in Revelation 20 and of course this parallels what we read in Genesis 3 verse 15 when the Lord says to the serpent I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel all right and that's Jesus dumping his foot on the head of the serpent putting an end to all evil forever and ever and ever all right so it's pretty simple all this stuff lines up connects from Genesis to Revelation